Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, baby, the big one. Super Bowl's coming up real soon. Demetrius Andre versus David Benavides, right? You know, everybody undefeated. It's a whole lot of storylines going on, you know, but I'm enjoying myself the most. Now, I got to be honest with y'all. Y'all know, you know what time it is here. But I'm enjoying the fact that through the build-up, through the, you know, episodes that's coming on TV, people, you know, starting to, uh, it's a high-profile fight. So people are starting to really know who uh, Demetrius Andrade is. And, you know, sooner or later, people are going to be asking, like, well, uh, excuse me, why the hell did I know about him? Right? Now, it's, in fun it's really funny because, you know, you're hearing all these superlatives about Demetrius Andrade, how much he was, he's, how good he is, you know, how much, how much skill he has, you know, all these things you're hearing. But he was here the whole time, right, trying to get the fights with Canelo and Janai Golovkin, right? We let Canelo call him a horrible fighter when all of us in unison, unison knows that that's not even close to true. You know why he ain't been getting fights. Right, and then you see how many people really know it, and then it's eerie how no matter what's going on on the, on the Showtime episode thing that's going on, right? I uh, forget the name of it, right? But anyway, you know they show them both of them, right, and lead up, but they can't really say, you know, they just say, you know, most avoided and avoided over the years, but they don't say the names to just you know bust people out. At this particular time, everybody should be knowing exactly what happened. That we didn't get an undisputed fight in the middleweight division. That Demetrius Andre been a, a champion the whole time. And show how many times he's been calling out those other guys. How many times he's been to their um, press conferences. Right? And show the people the details. Because the people don't want to see it. But, you know, just show them what's been going on. And then some people in, inside, you know, take them like, man, I don't think that's fair. And some people care about what's fair. It's not many of them. But a lot do, you know, a lot of them just are misinformed and just believe what's on TV. Don't realize that up with his own TV is probably a lie. <laughs> let's be real. Right? It is. You know, I'm from Hollywood, man. It, really, let's be real. But anyway, the point is, I'm enjoying that phase, this phase of lead up to the fight. You know, it's going to be David Benavides. It's a hard fight and whatever. But it's also about how, what he's been going through and enduring the whole time. And everybody knows how good the man is. Now, it's some eerie similarities to Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence. Eerie similarities here, right? Why did I pick Terrence Crawford over Errol Spence? I made it clear. From the beginning to the end. I just, you know, I didn't understand all his sides and all that. It's like Errol Spence is a big welterweight. He's been bigger than everybody he's faced, right? He's been bigger or the same size or bigger than everybody's faced. He's been able to come forward and take people out at what time? With work rate and with just the fact I'm really a bigger guy than you are, right? So he was able to do that. And I was like, well, I went... Terrence Crawford, I've seen him be the bigger guy. I've seen him be the smaller guy. I've seen him be the same size. I've seen him have to adjust because he's not the bigger guy, have to come on later in fights and make sure he breaks the guy, guy down first. All of those things I've seen, right? Now, how is Errol Spence going to do when he goes up to 160? Is what I was saying because, you know, Terrence Crawford came from 135, went up to 140, and went to 147. So, what, what, and then knocking everybody out. And then I was thinking with, when Errol Spence goes to 160 and does something similar, then we could talk about them being on the same level. That was my explanation for the fight. That's why I was like, Terrence Crawford is more versatile. I think he'll pull anything out. And that's sim similar with Demetrius Andre. David Benavides is a big, very big, um, Super middleweight. Very big super middleweight. Has problems making the weight. Got to come up to 175 with the quickness. Right? So, and he comes forward. Has a work rate. You never have to see him backing up. Ever. And I'm just going to work you down and break you down with time. Because I'm basically bigger than you. And it's very similar with Demetrius Andre. You know, it's like, okay. I'm smaller than you. Literally. But, you know. I got a whole lot of skills and I could be up in here. It's not quite as the same because Terrence Crawford 
was acclimated at 147. He knocked out about five or six dudes in a row. Quiet as kept. Wait a minute. Jeff Horn, Jose Benavidez, Cavalicus, Sean Porter, Kel Brook, and if I'm missing somebody, and, and uh, the dude Avanazin, Av Av Avanazin, right? Six, about six or seven dudes. I'm probably missing one, right? So he was already acclimated by knocking people out. Uh, your boy uh, has only had, Jimmy Sandra has had one fight at that division. So it's going to be hard for him to do that, but it's very similar. And another thing that's similar is, if Demetri Andre does pull this off, I think people would have to recognize finally, and he would not be in the back burner, and, and people can say he doesn't exist and all of that anymore. I think he would even enter the top uh, top 10 pound for pound for most people. You know, he's in my top four. Actually, he was number two, but I'm going to go ahead and put uh, your boy Alexander Uzik and Inouye up there. But Demetri Andre, and I told you why he's my number two all the time, is because I count great, great, super great fighters that are afraid of him and been obviously uh, avoiding him uh, on paper. It's not anything that's just just rumors. So when you have that, those are badges of honor. They count in my particular pound for pound. You know, it's just mine. Just, you know, I'm, you know, I'm at home and, hey, it's mine. You know, right? Because I, I count those. When you, people don't count those out there because they act like people don't know what really is going on and they can do those type of things. But... You know, if you really count the fact that how this guy's been avoided, it's 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 really ridiculous. So, at the end of the day, he's gonna have a hard fight with uh, David Benavidez, but it's very similar to Errol Spence versus uh, Terence Crawford. Very very similar, right? They have one guy that we know is a little bit more skillful, right? Has a little bit more weapons in his game, and he's a little bit naturally smaller, right? And it's somebody that the whole boxing community knows is awesome. But the mainstream media just does its best to keep them hidden. Yeah, that's some serious similarities. Let's see what happens in the fight. Dumb sports talk worldwide. And I'm about here, y'all.